Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes to PlayStation VR Worlds on the PSVR and today we are going to be doing Scavengers Odyssey. Now I've played a little bit of this level, only a tiny bit, I think I did maybe about 5 minutes of the level so I'm not actually sure how long this level goes on for but it is basically from what I've seen it is very similar to Starship Troopers the movie. If you guys haven't seen Starship Troopers the movie I recommend that film 100% it is a it is a pretty flipping damn good film. It's quite old as well now. There are a few sequels, but the only one you want to watch is Starship Troopers 1. But yeah, this is similar to that if you guys have seen it. Also quite similar to Farpoint, another PSVR game that's going to be coming out next year, I think. So yeah, let's uh, get right into this. Oh, look at that. Oh, the <laughs> look at the little uh, meteors. That's what I love the most. I think a lot more VR games need to use the move controls because it's just... It's so great to see your hands in the game. I mean, watching this DualShock 4 move around, it's incredible. Just tapping the Meteor. Because you feel like you are actually tapping the Meteor. Because the control vibrates when you tap stuff. So it just feels feels so bloody real. But yeah, there are a few games with the move controls. Because eventually I'm going to be doing London Heist on here. And that is uh, that one does use both of the VR controls. The uh, move controls. So yeah, we'll be doing that next. But yeah, Scavenger Odyssey. Pick up where you left off. No, we're going to start from the beginning. Embark on a hazardous journey across the Forbidden Belt. Okay, let's do this. Now, this uh, this level doesn't really make me feel too sick, but it seems to me, if you guys have motion sickness, it seems like if you're um if you're moving your character separately from where your head is moving, like if you control a big mech or something and you're like walking forward, but whilst you're walking forward, you move your head around like this, that's when you seem to feel sick. I don't know, it's just me really. I'm not I'm not 100% with the whole motion sickness thing. I get a bit I get a bit dodgy depending on the game. But yeah, sorry sorry for rambling. Let's get on with it. Plunge into your craft and escape the doomed dropship. Okay. So there's a couple of chapters in this. I think there's about eight chapters or something. So yeah, it might go on for about two videos hopefully. Right, let's hold the options button and recenter ourselves. Lovely. Gotta tell you, I can't wait for doing uh, games like uh, Farpoint because there is an attachment you can get for the move control, like a gun attachment. So I'll literally be standing here with a gun, rocking a nice little gun in the video. It'd be pretty good. There is talking in this, but I'm not going to put on the subtitles because they appear right in the bloody way. I did that in the uh, Ocean Descent level and it kind of ruined the video a bit. So I'm not going to put subtitles on. You have to listen carefully if you want to hear. Forbidden bounds. Nav point reached. Dropship slowing. To sublight speeds. Cryogenic systems disengaged. Initiating suspended animation revival protocols. Initiate I'm a flipping alien. AI symbiosis. Oh, Preparing look at my body. Merging of pilot and craft AI. Hey, look, his hands move with my dual shock four. Look, <laughs> if I move the analog sticks, watch his hands. Look, hopefully you guys can see my analog sticks. I've got no idea where the video camera is. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I look like something from Avatar. Actually, I look like Abe from Oddworld New and Tasty. Jesus, I'm Abe. Oh, that's my dream come true. I can fart and blow people up now. <laughs> okay, uh, hold both the buttons. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Bit of an injection. Lovely. Activating. Mark IV, scavenger craft. Analyzing like a beetle. DNA for identification. Species, 68% median, 32% race unknown. Classification, underbreed. Number underbreed. 169QR. Status, fugitive anarchist. What do you mean an underbreed? I feel quite insulted, actually. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a damn werewolf or a human. AI complete. I'm a wolfen. That's why I'm a wolfen. Looks like we're really going looting in the Forbidden Belt. By all reports, the artifact we're hunting is believed to be here. Every That's the artifact we're hunting for, just in case you, you guys location. can't hear the woman. Because she's Our speaking very quietly. Up offering more credit than we'd ever seen a hundred life cycles. All we've got to do is find it. <laughs> Request dropship release holding clamps. Prepare to disembark on landing. I don't think that's meant to happen, is it? Dropship's taking damage. Damn it. The 
Clamp's release mechanisms fuse solid. We're gonna have to shoot our way out. Now, uh, everywhere you want to shoot is where you look in the game. So if you want to shoot at something in this game, you have to look at it. So, uh, yeah, you should be you should be seeing some intense this shit going on from me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too fun. Oh, I think now that I'm not ill anymore, now that I'm basically better, I feel a little bit sick, less sick when I play these games now. I think the motion sickness I was getting might have been a mixture of me being ill and having motion sickness. Because I don't feel as bad now. Now, L1, I don't really use L1 too often because sprinting does definitely make me feel ill. Chapter 1, Escape. Now, what's the button? You got L1 to uh, run. I think R1 might be. What's the? Where's the? Oh, I can't press the buttons yet. I gotta wait for the tutorials. That's uh, L2 in it. Oh, R1. So you hold R1 if you want to pull stuff. You can also use R1 to pull stuff towards you and then throw at enemies. Oh no. Oh no, that that is beautiful. Oh look at that. Whoa, drop ships down. Looks like a one-way trip. I hope I don't need oxygen. Oh shit. It's got about the same graphics as No Man's Sky, ain't it? <laughs> Hold on. Oh dear. It's gonna be tight, but we're going right through that wreck. Don't worry, I'm used oh. to dealing with tight things. I'm alright, I can do this. Craft, we're just looking for an artifact. <laughs> Oh shit. Well, I can't control the ship at the moment, Wolf Morphet, so don't think I'm being a noob. I actually cannot control the ship. I gotta wait for this uh this half breed to land. <laughs> oh my weird little hands. I am basically Abe. Where's the moon? Oh, bleh. Okay, so our objective is to find some sort of artifact. And we have landed on some kind of planet or a meteor. All systems are go. Follow the waypoint while I try to get a read on the artifact. What is the artifact for, woman? Because I'm not going to risk my life possibly getting murdered just to find some crappy artifact that is of no use whatsoever. If it's worth like one billion pound, you know, I might be interested. Or if it's, you know, it's gonna, you know, cure cancer or something, then I might be interested. But if you only want it as like an artifact just to put in a museum, then I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it, dear. It's not like anything we've ever seen. Not me either. Crazies talk of an anomaly at the center of the belt. They believe it to be sacred. Oh, what is that? What's that? Emanating from the horizon point. Hillbrand. Sensing disruption to the pilot AI symbiotic link. Stay with me, scavenger. Oh, I, I think I apparently blacked out or something. Oh. Oh, shit, feels like Star Wars. In the darkness, we built a gateway so that we could enter and lay the seeds of the new. That is beautiful. Look at that. I need, I, need a, I need to touch things. Come on, game. Let me touch. <laughs> oh, that's a bit bright. Oh, is that... Oh, what is that? That is nice. Oh, fuck. There is a voice in the background. It sounds like an alien voice. I don't know if she's saying anything English or if she's just talking really quiet or if she's talking alien language. I'm not sure. I did not forget about you, Pilgrim. Scavenger. Oh, I thought I lost you. You were totally out for the count. Scanning for source of rogue transmission. It must be the remnants of some crazy data log transmitting from one of the wrecks. I wish you would stop calling scavenger. me scavenger. Updated it makes me sound like a vulture. Destination, oh, I can finally move again. Okay, we're gonna need to get ourselves across these asteroids. Activating quadrupedal jump motors. 
Look at the location you want to jump to and hold down L2 to engage jump systems. If we can Wee! Jump there, <laughs> Chapter 2 Stepping Stones. That's a, a pretty appropriate uh, name for this level, ain't it? I'll tell you, that, you could get proper fancy with your combat in this game because you can do jumps and that, and as you're jumping through the air, if you turn your head around, obviously your guns aim wherever you look. So you can jump in the air, do a 360 no scope, and then just start looking at enemies and blasting them. The problem is, your guns do get hot in this game, so you do have to wait for them to recharge. And at some situations in this level, there are a lot of bugs and stuff. It's still active. Download data by attaching the energy grapple. Okay then. Data capsule. Midian crews reported an energy source emanating from the monolith at the heart of the Forbidden Belt. In the absence of any clearer data, I'd say that's where we start searching for our artifact. So we're going over there to search for the artifact. I mean, if I if I was in charge of an expedition, I reckon that's where I would head to as well. I mean, look at that. That doesn't look very, uh, you know, doesn't look very, I don't know, it looks suspicious. It looks like the kind of place you would find something valuable. Oh, flipping. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. How am I supposed to get over there? It's the jumping that ruins your brain, oh dear. Spectroscopic readings indicate an alien life form present. What can possibly exist out here? Data capsule. Experiments by Midian pilots show that holding items in the energy grapple builds up throwing power. On release, scavenged items are launched with great force. Oh, there we go. See, if you pick up items, like bits of sca a bit of salvage and that, and you let go, you can throw it at stuff. It's pretty useful if your guns are overheated. Uh, you know, seeing these bloody eggs over here, I'm starting to think we might be uh, dealing with a couple of aliens, you know, from like, you know, the film Aliens. And I'll tell you, I can't be... I can't be fighting a bunch of xenomorphs right now. I mean, I'm not in the mood, you know. I just want to have a little bit of a, an explore around space. I don't want to be fighting facehuggers and shit. One thing I do hope, though, if you guys have been on this channel for a long time, in 2014, one of my most successful playthroughs was Aliens Isolation. Sensors and, uh... I'm hoping that Sega or whoever, or uh, Creative Assembly, actually releases a patch for Aliens Isolation, and then I can go back to the game and do a few of the uh, missions that I didn't do on camera. I could redo them in VR. Because fighting the alien in VR, that would be incredible. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got our lasers charged up. <laughs> Don't want to use it all, actually, just in case I need it. Is it a time limit or is it energy? Oh, it's a time limit. Brilliant. Sorry if my uh, voice is like, once again, sorry if my voice is a little bit. Holy shit, look at them. They look like Banelings from StarCraft. If any of you guys have played that, it's a PC game by Blizzard. Similar to Command and Conquer and all those other games. What's the uh, time? 13 to 6. Right, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolfettes. I'm going to, uh, the videos you guys are probably watching over the next few uh, days or about a week are going to be a little bit shorter than usual because I'm we going to be doing two videos today. Best. So overall, you guys will be getting more videos, but the videos might be about 15 minutes instead. So you still will be getting longer videos because technically two videos, 15 minutes, you're getting a 30 minute video, ain't you? Because I'm doing this. I'm also doing Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, and I'm also going to be doing even more Halloween videos. So the videos might be a little bit shorter than usual. So, uh, yeah, going to end it now, Wolf Wolfettes. So thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfettes. Sorry if my, my voice is bothering you, as always, because I'm still <laughs> I'm still a little bit a little bit fucked up. But, yeah, not as bad as I was. My, my voice is fine now, just my nose is completely fucked. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfettes. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time, we'll carry on fighting these dirty banelings. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!